Hi, I'm Tanner with TransWest Truck Trailer RV here in Frederick, Colorado. Today we're going to go over an inventory unit. This is a 2022 Logan Coach Bullseye, three horse bumper pull. This trailer's 16 foot on the floor. You're going to be about seven foot tall, six nine wide. It's a pretty standard setup bumper pull for our lot. If you were to call us and say I wanted to order, you know, just your basic three horse, you know, Logan Coach bumper pull, this would kind of be the base model we'd start at and we'd build up from here. So to give you guys a pretty good idea of what you're getting with the standard model bullseye. Up here at the front, again, it's standard. We do have this diamond plate tread right that wraps the nose. It's real handy because typically you're pulling and you're kicking rocks up and they're going to hit typically right there on that trailer. So that diamond plate really protects the front of the trailer versus having just, you know, your slick aluminum coming all the way down. You have a little more protection. On top of that, your tongue that comes out, it is rhino, oh, vortex lined. What it is, it's, it's basically a rhino lining. It's a super hard plastic coating. Um, it helps protect that galvanized steel from, again, getting chips, getting breaks like that, but also from, you know, galvanized steel doesn't rust as easy as just normal steel. But what this coating does, it just goes a step further and, again, protects this trailer from rusting and adds to the longevity of it as well. It is a 2 and 5 sixteenths ball with a manual jack and, you know, your safety chains and breakaway cable. We can put an electric jack on this if that's something you guys are interested in or if you have a trailer at home maybe you want an electric jack on, we can do that for you guys as well. Again, this trailer is white in color. Logan's got quite a few colors to choose from. They're more, uh, the color palette's not as, you know, colory. It's more grays, blacks, slates, charcoals, stuff like that. But they do have some pretty cool colors to pick from if you're ordering, again, just a standard model bullseye. Here on the door of this trailer, it is just a 32 inch door. You do have your brush box right here. It is a carpet lined brush box. Again, you're going to put sprays in there, you can put brushes in there. The reason I like that it's carpet lined is you can take this carpet, if it gets dirty, and you can just peel this carpet out, spray this out, it'll drain out the corners of this. It's super easy to keep this trailer clean and functioning for you guys. Here out of the door you'll notice there is a three-tier swing out saddle rack. It does have a spot for a fourth saddle right here. They're super easy to install. You loosen a bolt, plug it in there, and tighten that bolt right back up cool thing about it is you can space these out kind of between these four where you need them. You can take them out as you don't need them or put them in as you do need them. We can always get you another saddle post if that's something you needed as well. Super functional. Um, it runs on a gas piston so once you kind of start pushing it, it'll almost pull you in the trailer. You can just let it go. Same thing when you pull it out. You get it about halfway and that gas piston will push it out. It's a really effective design. Next to that, we do have a four tier uh, blanket rack as well. It clips to the wall for when you're driving down the road. It kind of keeps your blankets pressed against that wall so they're not moving and falling off. And then for easy access, you can spin that out, pull your blankets right off, and go right to saddle on your horses. Above that blanket bar, you'll notice that there is a full line going across the whole partition wall of this trailer of you know bridle hooks, or again, you can see that hose right there. Um, you can hang whatever you need up there, anything, keep it off the floor, out of the way. That way it gives you more storage on your floor to store things like totes, grain, feed, stuff like that. Speaking of that hose, we did go ahead and add on a 35 gallon corner water tank to this trailer. The reason we do that, we kind of started doing it the majority of our trailers we get in, just because a lot of the times you're traveling, uh, you get to where you're going and there's maybe a water hookup that's way too far from your trailer, or you're going on you know, an eight, 10 hour trip and you need to stop and let the horses out halfway. That way you always have water down the road. You're not going to gas stations asking if they have fresh water for your horses to drink and stuff like that. You can just pull over, open your door, and water your horses straight out of your trailer. Going back into the tack room, spare tire is over there in the corner. Again, it is a steel wheel spare tire. That way you blow a tire or something like that, you always have that spare here in your tack room. Super easy to get to. You can fold your saddle rack out of the way, roll that tire right out, and put it right on your trailer. Here on your hip wall, you just have your standard sliding type bus windows. Again, they slide about halfway open. They're really going to do a great job of pulling that air through this trailer. So you have your drop downs on your head side. You open these sliding bus windows on the tail side and it's just going to pull that fresh air over their heads, across their backs, and out the side of this trailer. That way they're getting clean, cold air always flowing over their bodies. Below those windows, we do, do have three tie out rings. You're going to have one back here towards the back as well. Again, super easy to tie your horses here, swing that saddle rack out, sling that blanket rack open, and just slide everything right off there onto your horses. You're going to have easy access to all your sprays, your brushes, stuff like that. It's going to be super easy to saddle and be able to efficiently get stuff done where you're going. Again, up top, 
of these sliding type bus windows, we do have an LED load light. Super cool, you flip a switch. If you're plugged into your truck, you'll have you know lights to run off your truck batteries. Again, if you're saddling in the dark, you're somewhere maybe feeding or watering like I was talking, you pull over and need to water horses, you have the ability to tie them up and water them right here at the trailer with that light on. We can always add a battery to this trailer as well. If you're not wanting to stay plugged into the truck to run your lights, we can always add a battery pack to this trailer. That way you can run this trailer when it's not hooked up. The thing I want to kind of focus on when we're looking at this trailer is I want you guys to kind of look at all the vortex lining like we talked about on that tongue up front. Logan does a super cool job of everything that's pretty much going to get touched by a horse or maybe have the uh, probability of getting touched by a horse is going to be vortex coated. What that does is it just keeps this trailer in that much better condition for you. If you just had your aluminum sheets extruded and you got horses pawing and kicking at that, it's going to break down pretty quick. But with this vortex lining, it's going to chip away before your metal does. And if you do notice your metal starts showing, it's really easy to just grab a rattle can of rhino lining or take it somewhere and they can patch that vortex lining for you super easy. And again, this is just your standard model bullseye, so it is a wood floor. And again, you'll notice the wood floor is also, and it's being super tough wood floor, they went ahead and they vortex lined that as well. So again, water's gonna have a hard time getting to that wood. Wood's pretty hardy anyway for a trailer, but they just take it one step further and vortex line that. Cool thing about it with these slats is all your urine from your horses is gonna drain through this floor as well. A lot of people come in and they see the wood floor and they're pretty upset that they can't do, there's a thing called polylast flooring. And what it is, is it's a permanent flooring that they typically put over aluminum slatted floors so it'll drain. The cool thing about these Logan wood floors is they don't really have rounded edges. It's super easy. You can come in here and you can pour a polylast flooring over this. That way you can get rid of your mats. You do have the ability to still use a polylast with the wood flooring. That's just something I wanted to point out to you guys. Inside the trailer, they are padded dividers. You will notice that this rear divider here, it is a telescoping type divider. The reason we do that is because you'll notice if I swing it open and you wanted to travel, there's no way you could shut your back door like that. So we make it a telescoping divider so it's super easy to slide in. You can shut your back door and still be able to use all this space if that's something you needed to do. All your dividers can pin over here. So again, if you did want to travel, maybe jump an ATV up in here or put a horse in the front and some cows back here, you could always chain that over there and keep it out of the way. This front divider, it is another padded divider, but again, it's not telescoping because you don't really have the need to get it out of the way. And again, it clips to the same divider, so you can travel like this. Again, your whole partition wall is gonna be vortex lined like the majority of this trailer. Even all your supports are gonna be vortex lined. In each stall of this trailer, you are going to notice some D-rings. That's for hanging hay bags or whatever you need to hang. Typically, there's three of them, so you can put a corner feed bag there. There's going to be three in each stall. That way, if you want to put hay bags in any stall here, we could do that for you guys. We could send you the hay bags if that's something you wanted. Or even if you have a trailer at home that's maybe missing some D-rings or you noticed you have D-rings and you want hay bags for them, that's something we can get for you guys pretty easy as well. Each stall is going to have a tie-out for your horses. The cool thing I like about it is they're centered. Most of the time you see your tie outs, they're over here on a support beam or over here on a support beam or on your sidewall. Cool thing about them being centered above your window is that if you're tying and untying from the outside, you always can see where your lead rope is. It's right there and you can see where your knots are and they're super easy to untie. That way you're not getting tangled with your horses and you'll be able to untie them and unload them efficiently. I'll show you guys kind of how the feed bag situation is set up in a non-front stall. So again, it's set up very similar. You have your one feed bag tie out here, your one feed bag tie out here, and your other feed tie out there. And that way you can put hay bags. If you're hauling three horses, you can safely feed all three horses. And that way you're not having those old school hay nets hanging, scratching your trailer up. But again, if you do like those old school hay nets and that's something you kind of live by, that vortex lining is going to do a great job of protecting this trailer as well. On your hip side, you do have jail bars over your windows. Again, you, sometimes you get taller horses, their tail heads like to poke through windows. You see a lot of trailers with screens popped out, windows popped out. Putting the jail bars over there, it just kind of protects them a little more and maybe deflects a little bit of tail head away from this window. Up above them, there are three LED lights. So again, if you want to check on your horses or something like that, you're plugged into your trailer. You can flick a light switch and your horses will have light back here. You'll have light back here to check on them, feed them to make sure everything's going okay while you're traveling. And again, we can put a battery in this trailer that's where it's set up to where you don't need to be hooked up to your truck to run your lights. 
before I run out of here, show you guys how easy it is to use your latch system. I like it because it's almost like a slam latch. You can just slam those shut. They're super easy to operate. You just pull your lever, they open right up. The cool thing about them is the more your horse pushes on them almost, the tighter that connection is going to be. So if your horse likes to lean on your dividers and stuff like that, you're not going to have to lean or worry about them coming open as much because it puts that much outer pressure on that latch that it's going to help it keep closed more than hurt. Same thing with your telescope when it's a slam type divider. Slams in a place and again, the more your horse pushes on this divider, just the tighter that connection is going to be. We do have up top out of this trailer, you will notice there is another one of those load lights. Again, if you're loading horses, we want you guys to be able to see what you're doing and stay safe loading horses. It helps keep you safe. It helps keep your horses safe. They can kind of see what they're doing. They see a little better than you in the dark. But again, if you're unloading horses, it's the middle of the night, you get somewhere, the more light, the better. So that's kind of why we put these lights back here. Coming around the head side of this trailer, Again, you'll notice up top, we do have another LED light. Again, if you're saddling off this side of the trailer, you will have light to see, or if you're tied out on this side of the trailer, again, just more light for you guys. Cool thing I like about it is that light's gonna give you enough time that again, if you're pulled over and you need to check on your horses, untie your horses, you flick a switch and you're gonna have enough light to come out here and operate these windows. They're super easy to operate. You're gonna have enough light to be able to, again, see that lead rope centered in that window and you're going to be able to turn that light on, see that lead rope, untie your horse, and they'll back out without getting tangled, without you getting in a mess inside. It's super easy. I really like Logan's windows. Um, come over here and we'll show them a little bit. Typically, you see a handle at the top like that. Like, I can barely reach that right now. Or one's off to the side. Sometimes shorter people have a hard time uh, reaching those latches. The cool thing Logan did is they made a bar that pretty much travels the whole length of that window. So if you can reach that bar or pretty much reach any length of your window and pull down, that window's gonna operate super easy. Same thing with your middle jail bars. If you can reach that middle jail bar and just pull down, it's gonna open just as easy. So it makes it super easy for you to get your horses, check on your horses, even for the smaller folks. You can run down the road with them closed like that. Um, you can run down them with your jail bars open. I don't suggest it though, just because there's nothing holding this hair. But you can absolutely run down the road with it like that. It's latched like that, it's meant to travel like that. That way your horses are getting just enough air going over them. You're getting fresh air pulled through your jail bars and coming out again through your bus windows on the back side. There are, you know, your hay nets right here. I like that Logan includes these on their trailers because a lot of time you leave a show, you leave a rodeo, you're going home for the night, you're going to feed your horses on the way home, especially if it's a couple hour drive. So if you feed your horses in there, typically what you're going to have to do is shut the windows so that wind's not blowing that hay around in there, getting in their eyes, getting in their nose, stuff like that, kind of clogging them up. But putting a hay net there, that kind of gives you the ability to still feed them, and it kind of limits that wind just rushing through there and swirling that hay through your trailer. It kind of gives you a little bit of wind blockage, but still allows your horse to get some air while he's eating. So again, their windows are super easy to operate. The cool thing about them is that if it is a little bit chillier out, but you still want some fresh air for your horses, you can fold your windows up, and each window is going to have a sliding pipe in the middle. So that way, if your window's up, you want to shut them all, but you still want your horse to have some air, you can use that sliding type window. And again, just get a little air through there if it's cold out, or again, if they're eating and maybe the hay, hay is swirling just a little too much in there for your liking, you can just close them and open that little bus window and give them a little air. So again, this is kind of just your more standard, you know, Logan Coach Bullseye. If you were going to order one from us, again, just call us and tell us you wanted a standard bullseye. It's more than likely what you'd get. We went ahead and added a water tank onto here. Again, it's a super nice little trailer. We're kind of having a hard time getting them in and flowing, but for the moment, this one is available. If you are interested in this trailer, go ahead and reference stock number 5N201261. Again, it's a 2022 Logan Coach Bullseye three horse bumper pull. If you're interested in this trailer, maybe some other trailers we have coming in or some other trailers that are sitting on our lot right now, go ahead and give me a call. Again, my name's Tanner. I'm at TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. Our phone number is 303-684-3400. Thanks for tuning in.